Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil. I wanted to come out and share some things with you today uh, that I believe the Holy Spirit has revealed to me over the past 24 hours. I was listening to a video yesterday uh, by somebody who was talking about the Great American Solar Eclipse. And uh, as he was talking, they were making reference to the Hebrew letters and things like that and the meanings of the Hebrew letters. And suddenly it occurred to me to look up the meaning of the letter X, which the letter X in the Hebrew alphabet is called Tav. And as I did some research on the meaning of that letter, which has a numeric value, uh, and all these things that I believe are a part of the message that God is giving America through this sign in the heavens that will be completed as of April 8th, 2024. All right, so I just have a, a presentation. I'm going to flip my camera around and I'm just going to talk through this presentation and go over the facts concerning the meaning of the letter Tav, this letter that will be appearing over the U.S., and what I believe the message is behind it. Okay, so you can see here I have a map of the United States and it's showing the path of both solar eclipses, the one that occurred on August 21st of 2017 and then the one that's coming up here on April 8th, 2024. And they intersect right over the United States of America, all right? And many people look at this and they see the letter X. And in the English, that is what it would be. But since I believe this is a message from God, I felt like the Father was encouraging me to look this up in the Hebrew. And an X in the Hebrew alphabet is called Tav. And as I did some research on this letter, all right, I came up with uh, some pretty profound, sobering truths that I believe are part of a sobering message to the United States of America of judgment that is coming. Now Jesus said when he was speaking of end times, there will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. So church, it's up to us to see these things and recognize that these are signs which are messages and they are pointing to things. A sign is something that points to something coming down the road. So I'm not saying I expect anything to happen on April 8th, but it is a sign, I believe, of something that is coming. And that something isn't good. As we unpack what the letter Tav means, I believe you're going to, to see that uh, we really need to be in sober prayer, church. So in the Hebrew, the word eclipse is L-I-K-U-I, -I, all right? And um, it's... it's means defect. It's eclipse or defect, okay? The Talmud, it says, states that a likui of the sun is a bad sign for the world. More specifically, the Gemara states that the location in which the sun is seen in total eclipse is where folks especially need to worry. Historically, eclipses of the sun are viewed as a portent of destruction or war, and it's a warning to repent and get right with God before disaster comes. Okay, so this word itself is showing us that this, this eclipse of the sun occurring over the United States is a bad omen in and of itself. But the fact that there are two and that they are forming the letter Tav over us, it even speaks to a, I believe, a greater degree of a warning and of judgment that is about to fall on America. So there's the X, the letter Tav over America, and you can see the letter Tav in the Hebrew, all right? And this letter has a numerical value, which I wanna talk about that. And uh, there's, there's meanings, very specific meanings assigned to each letter in the Hebrew alphabet. So the letter Tav means it's the final letter, it's the 22nd and final letter of the Hebrew alphabet. So the final letter, and it has a numerical value of 400, which we're going to get into that in a minute. And then it also means truth, a sign, and life or death. Okay, so this letter appearing over the United States of America 
right there we can see it's it's definitely a sign all right and life or death truth okay and then the number 400 now the number 400 is significant in the hebrew language when you look that word up it's o-k-e-l o-k-e-l and it means food meat or prey but it comes from it's the root comes from a-k-a-l a-w-k-a-l and it's it literally or figuratively means to burn up consume or devour now jesus we know he said i am the alpha and the omega okay and that's in the greek but in the Hebrew, it's the Aleph and the Ta, the beginning and the end. Okay, so Jesus himself is symbolic of Tav, but with regard to an end. All, right, all very important things to think about here. Now, just to summarize everything that we just went over here, the Hebrew letter Tav is going to be completed over the U.S. on April 8th, 2024, which is a sign, I believe, pointing of something coming. Tav is the last letter in the Hebrew alphabet, pointing to the end. All right, the numeric value of Tav comes from a root word that means to burn, consume, and devour. And the solar eclipse in the Hebrew literally means destruction, war, a warning to repent and get right with God. And then the letter Tav has three meanings of truth, a sign, life, and death. All right, so when we put all of this together, church, this is a very sobering warning. It's a very sobering message. It's not just a letter X appearing over the United States of America. It is a warning sign, all right, that Jesus himself, who is symbolic of the letter Tav, the letter Tav is symbolic of Jesus, but the end is calling this nation to a place of repentance and is going to bring truth, bring truth to this nation, all right, and I believe we have a choice to choose life or death. That is our choice right now, based on how we respond to the warning that has been put out for us. This sign in the heavens that is appearing as a letter Tob over the United States of America. And it is pointing to war, destruction, war and destruction, burning, can being consumed, devoured, okay, which is, I believe, what's going to happen to America if this nation does not repent now, okay? We've had seven years, seven years from the first eclipse, seven years, and now it's being completed over us as of April 8th, 2024. So as far as I can see, time has run out, church, for us to decide what we want to do we need to choose now life or death to follow jesus or to be taken out by the enemy it's just like the the dream i was given where the soldiers came out onto the stage of life and they either went to that place of humility on the lower bunk or they were taken out by the enemy this is where we are at we have a choice I hope and I pray, church, that each and every one of you will take this message to the Lord and that you will pray about it and, and ask the Father to give you a confirmation. As I always say, don't take my word for anything. Ask the Father, but ask him to give you a confirmation and pray for this nation. Pray for your family members, your friends, your coworkers to come to that place of repentance, to turn away from the things that uh, we have been pursuing relentlessly in place of God and pray that they will choose life today. They will choose Jesus and humble themselves and, and give their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope, I pray this message blesses you, church, and as always, it is my prayer 
that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.